Good morning, I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. The S&P 500 rose on Wednesday as a number of big tech stocks rallied, pushing the broader market to new heights. The benchmark S&P 500 eked out a gain of 0.08%, clinching a new all-time closing record. The Nasdaq Composite rose 0.36%, helped by the tech rally. It marked the fifth straight day of wins for both. The Dow Jones Industrial Average slipped 0.26%, hurt by declines of more than 2% in Verizon and 3M a day after each reported earnings. Netflix shares surged nearly 10% after the streamer said it, its total subscriber count hit an all-time high of 260.8 million. Revenue topped analyst estimates, as did current quarter earnings guidance. Elsewhere, Microsoft rose more than 1%, sending its market value briefly higher than $3 trillion for the first time. Meta advanced 1.4%, bringing the Facebook parent's market cap above $1 trillion. After the bell, Tesla also reported results. Tesla reported revenue growth of 3% in the fourth quarter, trailing estimates. Auto sales increased just 1% from a year earlier. Tesla shares have dropped about 16% so far this year, as of Wednesday's close after more than doubling in 2023. Beyond technology, AT&T slipped about 3% on lower than expected earnings. DuPont de Nemours tumbled more than 14% after pre-announcing weak fourth quarter results and issuing disappointing first quarter guidance. Shifting to US sectors now, energy, communication services and information technology stocks boosted the broad market index on Wednesday. Materials was the worst performer. Earnings reports will remain a focus of traders, with the Las Vegas Sands and IBM due after the bell. Of the more than 16% of the S&P 500 companies that have reported quarterly financials thus far in this earnings season, over 71% have surpassed Wall Street expectations, according to FactSet. In commodity-related news, US crude oil prices surged over 1% as winter storms disrupted domestic production, resulting in a 1 million barrel per day decline in US crude production and a 9.2 million barrel drop in commercial crude inventories for the week ending January 19. This development eased concerns about oversupply amid China's economic slowdown. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.2% rise. Thank you for listening.